The Toro TRX Tracked Walk Behind Trencher is designed to provide dependable and reliable performance when used properly. In order to ensure many years of labor-saving service, the Toro Company asks that everyone who operates the TRX Trencher please view this training material in its entirety. And then, thoroughly read the operator and safety manuals provided. In operating the TRX Trencher, there are three main controls that direct the flow of hydraulic fluid. The lever in the center is called the traction control, and it controls the forward and reverse movement of the machine. To move forward, use the palm of your hand to push the rear bar forward toward the reference bar. The closer the rear bar is to the reference bar, the faster the machine will move, up to three miles per hour. Turning the bar to the right will turn the Toro TRX trencher to the right. Turning the bar to the left will turn the unit to the left. When released, the lever returns to the neutral position and the unit stops. To move the machine in reverse, grasp the front bar with your fingers and pull back toward the reference bar. Again, turning to the right moves the machine right. Turning to the left moves it to the left. To the right of the traction control is the trencher boom control. This joystick controls the raising and lowering of the trencher boom. Pushing forward on the joystick lowers the trencher boom. Pulling back on the joystick raises the boom. The lever located to the left of the traction control is the chain engagement. It controls the hydraulic flow sent to the chain, which spins the chain. When the lever is in the neutral position, no hydraulic fluid is sent to the chain. This lever is spring-loaded to automatically return to the neutral position when released. To engage the chain, simply pull the lever rearward and down to the reference bar. Pushing upward and to the left causes reverse flow which is necessary when trenching in difficult ground conditions where rock or debris stop the chain. It may become necessary to operate the chain in reverse to dislodge the object. Once the obstruction is removed, engage the chain forward to continue trenching. Other features of the control panel include the throttle located here, the choke, and the ignition key. Electric start is available only on the 19 horsepower model. Below the control panel on the rear of the machine is the parking brake lever. The parking brake should always be set when the TRX trencher is on the transport trailer or any time you leave the machine. This is the reverse plate. It's located beneath the control panel and it functions as a safety device. Pushing on it mechanically forces the traction control into a neutral position, reducing the likelihood of the operator getting pinned against something when the machine is moving in reverse. Before you start the TRX trencher, always carry out the following important pre-start procedures. Turn off the engine and remove the key before doing any service work on the machine. Remove the dipstick to make sure the oil is at the correct level. If you need to add more oil, remove the oil filler cap. Use only Toro recommended oil. Next, check the hydraulic oil level. 
there is a visual inspection sight glass located on the side of the machine. Remove the air filter cover and visually inspect the air filter. Replace the filter if required. Inspect for any loose fasteners or damaged areas. Inspect the machine for debris or materials that may interfere with machine operation. Inspect the machine's major grease points to ensure the machine is properly lubricated prior to operation. Refer to the operator's manual for specific locations. Inspect the chain for wear and debris. Stop and replace worn teeth if they show significant wear prior to operation. Also, check the chain to ensure it is tensioned properly. To tighten the chain, loosen the jam nut and tighten the tensioning bolt. To loosen, loosen the tensioning bolt. You want to maintain one and a half to two and a half inches of slack in the chain, depending on ground conditions. The wetter the soil conditions, the more slack you should have. To start the TRX trencher, the operator should make sure the chain engagement lever is in the neutral position. The TRX-15 trencher has a recoil start. When the machine is cold, open the throttle slightly, fully open the choke, and then pull the recoil starter. The TRX-19 trencher has an electric key start. When the machine is cold, open the throttle slightly, fully open the choke, and turn the ignition key. When operating the TRX trencher, you should have both feet on the ground and your hands on the controls. Removing your hands from the controls immediately stops the machine. While operating the TRX trencher, your safety and the safety of those around you is entirely in your hands. Please have anyone who operates this machine watch this video and read the operators and safety manuals that come with it. Let's begin with clothing. It is recommended that operators always wear close-fitting clothes, long pants, protective eyewear, hearing protection, gloves, and proper footwear. A hard hat may be necessary in some job site locations. But every situation is unique, so always consult your project supervisor for additional precautions prior to operation. Take time to familiarize yourself with the controls of the TRX trencher. Practice the various moves on flat ground, well away from people or traffic. Practice at slower speeds until you can operate it smoothly and confidently. Never jerk the controls. When operating the TRX trencher, you walk along behind the unit using both of your hands to engage its various control functions. Always remember to keep your hands and feet away from all moving parts and pinch areas. The TRX trencher is a one-person machine. Never let anyone, adults, children, or animals near the machine while it is in operation. If they do get too close, warn them away or immediately shut down the machine. Never maneuver on unstable ground or inclines with the boom high. This could make the unit unstable and cause it to pitch over. Always carry the trencher boom close to the ground 
to maintain a proper balance. If the machine starts to tip forward, lower the boom to stabilize the unit. Before refueling, turn the engine off and allow it to cool down. Turn off the engine and remove the key before doing any service work on the machine. This will prevent someone from accidentally starting the machine while you are working on it. Never operate the trencher sideways on slanted ground of more than 15 degrees. Please refer to the owner's manual for clarification. Like most track drive machines, the TRX trencher creates a cantilever or rocking effect when going over curbs or bumps. Please be aware of this when operating the machine. Ramps can be used to minimize this effect. Always keep a sharp lookout for holes and deep ruts while operating the TRX trencher. Prior to digging, make sure all utilities have been properly located and marked. And always be aware of traffic. Always park the TRX trencher on level ground and be sure to lower the boom all the way to the ground. Also, engage the parking brake before leaving the machine. This training material doesn't cover all potentially harmful situations. Always use common sense and the utmost care when operating the Toro TRX Trencher and you will enjoy many years of great service.